What up guys, today I'm going to do the fast way of disassembling or opening an H22 transmission or an F20B or any real HF transmission. I believe they're all the same. Let's go check it out. So here's your H22 transmission. This is a base model transmission M2Y4. Um, I split it the other day to put an LSD in. Here's the stock open diff as you can see um, but I figured I know how to open a transmission and drop an LSD in there but do you so let's go check it out um, first things first looking down on it this is the way it would be situated in your car this is where your shifter would be um, I ended up taking some of these off to help me record but all of these bolts around the exterior of the case all need to come out um, then this bolt here at the bottom, this is where, this is for your, there's a drive shaft in there for your transmission or your reverse gear. Um, this guy comes out here. You can see there's a snap, snap ring in there if I can get that. I can get out of the light. Um, snap ring that needs to be separated. You can use pliers, the end of pliers to just spread those. And then um, coming around the front here, or this would be upside down, see the alternator, or the starter would be right here rather. Um, on this side, there are two sprung ball bearings that are underneath of these two bolts. They look like that. Those need to come out. Um, you can leave them in there when you disassemble everything, but they will fall out and you'll probably lose them or get them dirty. So um, take those two out, and then underneath of here where your shifter is there's a uh, allen socket head bolt and that holds this assembly on now you're, you're looking at this and saying well what the heck is this right now well looking down on your transmission that's what this is it's the cap that goes on there so this cap needs to come off once you take that off then all of this is exposed <clears throat> Once all of that is exposed, then this bolt needs to come out. Now I already, like I said, disassembled it, so it's gonna look a little wonky. But there's a little tab right there. I don't know if you can see that tab right there. That's pressed up against that bolt to prevent it from uh, unspinning. Just use a flat head and give it a, a little tap. It doesn't need a lot of oomph to take it off. Then this piece comes out, and it leaves with part of the shifter pop this piece out by pulling this shaft out this piece the shifter and then once that's disassembled then you take this um, socketed cap screw out now usually what I do because it's a very tight clearance in there you can use an allen key I use one of these I believe it's a number eight yeah number eight and I put it in a five sixteenths um, closed end wrench that way I can get underneath there and just unloosen it just a little bit you don't have to take it all the way out um, once you take that and loosen it up it allows this part to rotate out that all comes out these are the parts so far that have been taken out aside from this one and then up top here there are two very long bolts this one right here is tough to get underneath of this bolt if it was left in there um, but the, uh, the other one, in fact, I don't know where the other one is. It's around here somewhere, but this long bolt has to come out and then there's another long bolt right here. Found it. It's right here. See, very long. This one has to come out. Once all of those bolts have been removed, then you take your linesman pliers or whatever pliers you have and you have to go and attack the snap ring. So usually what I do is I take my pliers and I put them down in here, get behind the camera, like so, and just give this a little spread. And once you spread that out, um, you, I always use this bolt, but you can give this case a little yank and pop that out. Now, some people are wondering right now, how do you get that out? Well, there's a thing called a breaker bar or you can use your torque wrench if you put the torques back up real high, or you can use your half inch 
um, uh, wrench. Fits right in there. So once you get all of those bolts out, then you start yanking on this case. Freeze itself up. Remember, this bolt is from that tr the uh, reverse gear post, which I'll show you here in a minute. I was like that. Take that and put that aside so I don't lose it. But essentially, from there, the entire case comes off. And you can leave all the bolts in there and just put the case down on the ground. Don't lose your ball bearings, which I almost did. Now this is your gear set. Um, sometimes this bearing right here gets stuck in your case. You can leave it in there or you can take it out. I prefer to take it out because there is this little washer back here that has these two tabs that um, is sometimes tough to get back in because it wants to fall off if this bearing isn't on top of it. So um, the orientation for this, which you will need to know when you put the case back together, is I try to put it up against this fork right here. Now keep in mind this is upside down. I'll do it this way so you have a different orientation. Put this washer right up against there. Now I'm gonna see if I can pull this bearing off so you can see what this washer looks like. It'll come off with one hand here. It might not. I might just leave it there. But yeah, push it up against the fork. If you're ever confused about that orientation, come watch my video or look inside your case. Inside the H22 transmission case, you will see, let's see if I can get a better angle with some light in there. There we go. Down here at the bottom, you see this little wedge? That little wedge is what goes in between those two tabs right there. So that's one way to remember what the orientation is for it. So you got the case off. Um, you potentially want to drop an LSD in there. If you want to get your LSD out, this is the LSD, your limited slip differential, or if you have the stock differential in there. <clears throat> All you have to do then is remove this gear set but when you open the case up, you're gonna have your reverse gear mounted in here, which sits right in these two holes. Just take that off, unbolt it, take it off. All it does is it sits in that pin there, right here, and in these holes and holds this gear up on that side. Now, if you remember that bolt that I was telling you about, that bolt goes right into this little hole here and just slides this up and down. That two, that fork, just slides this up and down. So, um, now I need to put the uh, camera down so I can lift this gear set off. So let's see if I can do this this way by setting it down. Sketchy, very sketchy. Ooh, that might be perfect. Let's see if I can do this with Al, but, uh, ripping all the synchros and stuff off. Okay, so usually I just grab both shafts and try to wiggle it up. Just like that, guys. Oh, man. For a second there, I didn't think I was going to get it off on camera. Um, things to be aware of. Sorry, my hands. Um, things to be aware of is there's shims right here by the sparing. They're very thin. Don't lose them. And I like to just keep them right on top of there so that they don't lose their orientation. Um, and then this is your reverse gear. It's kind of annoying to try to get the whole gear set back on. Um, with that whole gear set but essentially at this point if you want to put a new LSD in there notice this is you can see 
There's some crush washers because this is a OBX LSD. Um, you just lift it right out like that. There's your little speed sensor gear. But I'm gonna do the reverse, put this back in. One thing I did fail to mention is um, you're probably gonna need a pry bar or you know some, some sort of prying tool, whether it's a flathead screwdriver, a big one, or a piece of rebar um, to spread this case from here because it's gonna be sealed with like an RTV product uh, to prevent the transmission fluid from leaking out. So there are a couple points here that are good for cracking this case open. Notice where I'm at, just one right here. Um, the other one I use is right here. And then there's one here that you can hit with a hammer. I try not to hit any of this cast aluminum with a hammer, not that it won't take it, but uh, just don't wanna, you know, excuse my French, but uh, bitch up the case. So um, that will help you as you are trying to split this thing. Um, you really wanna try to, after you get all the bolts out of everything here and, and really before you start attacking the snap ring, you kinda wanna see if you can spread this apart. There's a little bit of give um, in the gear set to try to split this a little bit before you start trying to yank the case off because it's hard to do all of this at the same time. You know, yank on this, spread this, the snap ring and pry up on the case. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to get this case off.